and welcome back to my channel so basically you have noticed that i've taken down my backdrop i just want to play around with my backdrop my lighting and stuff i've got the window open and i've got my ring light on at the moment just to like see what it looks like because i noticed with my black background it makes me look hella white like i'm white but i'm not that white <laughs> Um, but yeah, basically in today's video, I'm going to be playing with the Makeup Revolution palettes. Um, palettes. Um, there's three that were released, but I got the 80s one because it looked the most appealing to me with all the bright colours. I can't open it, just a second. <laughs> if you are new here, my name is Literally Lewis and I am based in Adelaide, Australia, representing for the Aussies out here. I just don't feel like there's many Aussie gurus, like... I know Michael Finch and like Shani and all that and there's no like male Aussie gurus so I'm trying to like make a name for myself. I'm literally Lewis and I'm from Adelaide, Australia. I just think that Australia needs more beauty gurus on the YouTubes because like everyone's from America or the UK or like not from Australia besides Michael Finch and just that gang. Like I love that gang but I need more. I want more Australian gurus. I want more Australian representing, you know what I mean? I just feel like Australia kind of gets ignored in YouTube. So yeah, that's, I'm here, hi, I'm Australian, and I today am going to be playing with Makeup Revolution's new palette. Now, there was three of them. There was the 80s, 90s, and noughts, zeros that were launched, and the most appealing to me was the 80s because look at the colors. Look at the colours in this. Oh my god. Also, this is going to be a dupe for the MAC Shadow, the MAC Jeremy Scott eyeshadow palette, which was not the best palette if you've seen that video. I think I deleted actually. Yeah, no, I deleted them because that palette was just awful. Like, I just, I don't know, M MAC products haven't been like wowing me lately. But yeah, that was a lot of money and I was so disappointed by it. But yeah, this was, uh, I think it's £10, which is almost $20 in Australian. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to be playing with today. This intro is way too long, but yeah, this is what I'm going to be playing with today. Um, if you want to see that, then just keep on watching, guys. If you want to see how it performs, then just keep on watching, guys. If you want to see my transformation, then just keep on watching, guys. Yes. Okay, so I've just put foundation on and I've set my eyes and I just want to talk about the packaging. This packaging is so cool. Like, I love all the colours on it and that's definitely why I bought this one because the colour story in this is just amazing. Oh, if I can open it. <laughs> like, look at those colours. Oh, it's such a good, like, range of colours. Like, I love my colourful looks. I will pop up the other ones on the screen for you now. So this is the other one and this is the other one. <laughs> um, but yeah, like they just seemed a bit boring to me compared to this one. Um, but yeah, this one's the 80s, that one's the 90s and that one's the zeros, the noughts, whatever you want to call it. I think they call it the noughties. But yeah, I'm a 90s kid so like I didn't go for my palette. I went for the one that had the most colours which was this one obviously. Um, but I don't know what to do. I've been looking at it for like a good five minutes thinking what the bloody hell can I do because there's so many colours. But I think what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to jump straight into a transition colour and work from there. Also it has a bloody good ass mirror in it. It has a big mirror that you can see your whole face with so I love that. So I'm just going to grab this shade from the electric column. I'm just going to go by columns because they don't have shade names. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to grab this shade from the electric column. And I'm going to use that as a transition. And let's see if we are pigmented. Yeah, we are pigmented. I love that. It's quite a dark colour actually. I didn't think it would be that dark. It doesn't look that dark in the pan. But as you guys know, I am very pale, so it doesn't surprise me. Everything I am using will be listed below as well, if you're wondering. But yeah, that is a transition colour. Oh god, I really don't know what to do! Ugh. 
there's so many colors that are like screaming out to me like this blue down here is gorgeous this green over here is so nice this magenta uh, for the lid but I don't know what to do I don't know what to pair them with mm. I think I might go in with this next shade from electric which is like a peachy shade and I'll put that in like my transition as well just there now this is makeup revolution so I know that I'm gonna have to build up the color but once again makeup revolution and killing the game like their concealers are so good if you have not tried the makeup revolution concealers um, what are you doing they are so good that's what I've used to prime my eyelids today and their foundation looks so good but I can't afford anything at the moment so I can afford like I, I bought this and I, sh I should have bought the, the foundation but no I didn't buy the foundation because I'm happy with my Maybelline foundation at the moment and when I run out of that or run low on that I'm gonna buy the Makeup Revolution foundation because I, re I reckon I'll love it like all the reviews I've seen on it are really good so yeah um, so yeah, that pink shade, I'm just, well, peachy shade, it's not really pink. Um, I'm just going to put that in the beginning of my transition. Just the beginning here. Then I'm going to go into this red shade, which is just down at the bottom from that shade I just used. And I'm going to put that on the outer half of my eye. Another thing Makeup Revolution does really, really well are bloody highlighters. Oh my god, the Makeup Revolution highlighters are so good. Like, very good. Like, ve very, very good. Like, I've got my favourite one with me, and I'll probably use it in today's video. You'll see later on. Oh my god. Oh my god, you just wait. Oh my god. It's amazing. I really want to do a red and green look, but I feel like it will come off Christmassy, which is not what I'm here for. I'm just going to grab a big brush with no product on it and I'm going to blend that all together. Or blend that out, not all together. God. Actually, I might just take that red shade that I've been picking up and I might just rub that all in the crease. I was going to do like a transition, but the colours are like too similar for it to come across. So like I did in that um, video before on my channel, it just didn't work. So I'm just going to rub that red all over the, the crease, not the transition. Oh my god, I can't talk. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to grab that big fluffy brush that I was just using and I'm going to go back into that peachy shade and buff that out with the peachy shade i think that'll be really nice yeah that's really pretty oh i don't know if i want to do a dramatic look i mean a lot of my looks are dramatic so i don't know if i want to do a dramatic look but these shades are blending together really nicely like no complaints here the color payoff is really good you just need to build up the color which is understandable because it's makeup revolution. Um, you know what? I'm gonna get some sticky tape and I'm gonna stick some tape on my eye. Yeah, I think I wanna wing out this look, so I've just stuck some tape down and I'm going to go back in with that peachy shade and drag it out a little bit more. Just a little bit over here. I think I'll do a wing as well. <laughs> Can I just say that this is already working better than the MAC Jeremy Scott palette? Like, I can't believe, like, the hype around it was so good and the packaging is just awesome. Like, I would love to put it on display once we get a bigger place. Like, I would put it in display in the background, but, like, that's all it's good for because the shadows in it are just not the best. Like, if you've tried it, you will know my pain. Like, it costs so much money and it's, like... He went on sale for like half the price last time I saw it. I was just like, yeah, that's where it belongs. Half price. But yeah, I'm just going to double in between this red and this pink just to get this dramatic eye going. Right, I've decided what to do and I'm going to grab this light blue, no, dark blue here and then the light blue. 
on a pack brush. I'm just gonna pack that on the edges of my eyelid. Oh, that's a really nice blue. <gasps> that dark blue is so pretty. That is really nice. That's from the Let's, Let's Dance column. That is a really, really nice blue. It's like an indigo blue. I love. Yeah, we love. Do you know what I love? That, that colour. That's what I love. Oh, it's mixing purple with the red. I'm not mad about it. I'm not mad about it. And then I'm going to go in with the lighter blue, which is just above it, which is this... It's pretty much a turquoise colour, let's be honest. And I'm going to pop that right next to it. Oh, they blend together really nicely. There's a lot of fallout, but I'm not mad because the payoff is there. Right, I think I want to cut the crease because this is just like not as dramatic as I want it to be. So I'm going to cut the center of my lid and I'll be right back. Right, so I just cut the crease off camera. It's a bit messy, so I'm just going to go back in with that blue and light blue again just to bring them back because I lost them while we were cutting the crease, which is okay. It's just gonna go in with that. <sighs> Fuck's sake. Just gonna have to change my camera because it's on autofocus and it makes that sound. Yeah, sorry about that. My camera makes that ticking sound when it's on autofocus and um, that's just a little bit rude and not wanted in this tutorial. So yeah, I'm gonna go back in with that light blue and then just put that on the edge of the cut crease. So it fades in. Oh wow, that's very pigmented, oops. And I want it in a V shape, so it goes like that, but it kind of not coming across as a big shape love that for me <laughs> right so that's what we've got going on and then i'm going to go in with this emerald like sparkly green here oh, oh my god it's so pretty it's cool it's in the neon row it's not cool with anything because i don't have shape names but i'm just going to grab that on the back of my finger because that works best usually and i'm just going to pop that in the center of my eyeball Oh wow, that's very not, um, it's very lacklustre. I might wet the brush and I might go in with the wet brush and see if we can get some more payoff with that because usually fingers are like, whoa, there's the colour, but not in this case. So let's try a brush and I'm going to get some Fix Plus and let's see how that works. Let's see if this is better. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, it's almost like a neon green. <laughs> Hence, it's called neon. It's it's literally called neon. And I, oh, it's a neon green. Oh. oh, that is really pretty. Wow, that is so pretty, actually. That is actually really, um, actually pretty. That's such a unique shade, like I don't see neon shimmer shades, so I really love that shade. I don't know if you can see it that well on camera. I'm just going to fix up a few things and I'll be right back to do the under eye. Right, I think I figured out why it's not working. It's just that blue is not dark enough, like the this, this blue here is just like not dark enough. So I think I'm going to go in with the shade next to it, which is this purple from the New Romantics column. I could not think of it then. I just could not think of what it was called. Um, but yeah, I'm going to grab that and I'm going to pop that on the outer corner instead and see if that is what we're missing. Like, I just feel like it's not giving me what I want. So I'm going to pack that on the outer. <gasps> yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I wanted. That's what I was missing. This purple. The red and blue were kind of making a purple anyway, so I thought, why don't I just put a purple there? 
see if that works. And yeah, it does. Uh, spoiler alert, it does. Oh, I was really worried then, but now we've fixed that. I'm just gonna go all around the edges and put some more red in just to make that cut crease more. And I will be right back. I forgot to say that I'm gonna just quickly add a wing and then I will be back to do the bottom lash. Oh, Right, so I'm back and I just stuffed up the wings so I had to rub away some product and it's looking a little bit patchy there but I'll blend it out, I will blend it out off camera. I can't be asked right now. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to grab this peachy shade which is the second shade that I use and I'm just going to buff that under my eye. I think I'll just make under my eye red. I was going to make it blue with a little bit of green in the middle but I just... Um, Oh, do I still want to do that? I'm like, bloody hell. I keep doing this to myself. I keep like second guessing my thoughts. I'm just gonna blend that out now. You know what? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna do what I did in my eyelid on my lower lash. So I'm gonna go in with that purple shade first. The ju, the ju, the ju, the duke purple. The dark purple and I'm gonna buff that on the outer portion of my eye with a pencil brush just like that a little bit more yeah it's scary because some of the shades are like really pigmented um no I don't know how to describe this some of the shades are like really dark and pigmented and then when you tap it off, all the pigment goes away. So you don't need to actually tap off, but some of them you do need to tap off. Otherwise it's just like, oh my God, that's too much. Does that make sense? I don't know. Comment down below if that made sense. <laughs> right, and then with the same brush, I'm gonna go into this darker blue here from the Let's Dance column and I'm gonna blend that into this blue reminds me of a shade, I think it might be, oh I know, it reminds me of the shade from Kathleen Knight's Colourpop collection, uh, Pisces, I think it's Pisces, or let me, I've got it right in front of me, so I just have look. The Aquarius, it reminds me of the Aquarius shade from the Kathleen Knight's collection. And then, what we're going to do last is wet the brush, because we know that we need to wet the brush with this shade. And go in with that lime green as the last shade. This is one of the shades that you have to like build up. But yeah, it's so pretty. I love it. But you just need to build it up a little bit to get that pigment you want. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, okay, I'm happy I did that. There we go, that is that eye done. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in with this red right here, tap off the excess, and I'm just gonna buff that under what I've just laid down. So it like transitions into that peachy shade. Right, there we go, that is the bottom lash done. Then I'm gonna go in with a, oh, what do I use? I'm tossing up between this or this for the inner corner highlighter, but I'm thinking I'm gonna go towards the purple to bring out the blue tones on my eyelid. So I'm gonna grab this brush. Yeah. Grab this brush, give it a little spritz, and I'm gonna grab that purple there from the New Romantics column and I'm going to go in my inner corner with that. Um, hello? I'm going in with another. Actually, I might go in with my pencil brush, see if it's just my brush. It might be just the brush that I'm using. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, that's pretty. Right, I'm not really a fan of how that's looking on my eye, so I think I might do my other eye off camera and I'll come back and I'll, I might put my highlighting shade in there in the middle corner because it's like a green reflect. I think that'll go nicely with this. But yeah, I will be right back. I'm just going to do my other eye off camera and I'll do the highlighting and lips, etc. Right, so I'm back with the other eye complete. Uh, I stuffed up this wing, but you'll just ignore that. 
tell me. Um, but now I'm going to do highlighter. Um, oh my god, I haven't contoured my face. I didn't want to contour because I didn't know if I was going to do a dramatic look or if I was going to do a simple look. But I'm going to be right back after I've contoured. Right, so now that we are contoured, looking a little bit contoured. Wow, I look really tan. Like, I don't look as pale as I usually do. This is my actual skin colour, guys. So yeah, the black backdrop that backdrop backdrop does nothing no favors for me it just makes me look so white but we're gonna go in to the makeup revolution strobe highlighter this is one of my favorite highlighters from makeup revolution it's got a green reflect in it and i can't open it oh my god and this is what it looks like look how pretty it is it literally looks like waves this is like one of the first highlighters i ever got from makeup revolution and it's still to this day one of the best just gonna give me a brush a little bit of a spritz because i want to glow so much like that i want to blind you through the screen that's that's just how much i want to glow so let's like do that oh yes oh Yes. Oh look, it just complements that green um, shade on my lid so much. Like, are you kidding? No. <gasps> look at that. Oh my god. Other side. I'm not gonna lie though. Now that I use Sophie's palette, the highlighter palette by Sophie. It doesn't give me um this much like uh, this much yeah this much texture on my skin and this highlighter does i didn't notice that right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put a little bit on my nose as well and just a little bit on my actual nose and then i cupid bow and then what i'm gonna do is i'm going to go in with my beauty blender and i'm just gonna press it into the skin so it's not so harsh Right, so that is a highlighter. Oh, oh, I haven't done my eyebrows. I missed the going through my eyebrows. Right, and next I'm going to grab that same highlighter that I use on my cheeks and use it for my eyebrows as well. I haven't filled in my eyebrows yet. I'll do that just just in a second. Just, just a second. I'm just highlighting them first. Just a second. I'll highlight them and then I'll... Just a second. I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows because I literally didn't realise I haven't filled in my eyebrows and I'm just going to fill them on. Oh. I can't talk, I just can't talk today, I just can't talk, do you know what I mean? I am going to fill my eyebrows off, off camera, on, off camera. I'm just going to fill my eyebrows off of camera, bye. Right, we are back with my eyebrows filled in. I can't believe I forgot to do my eyebrows, like I've never forgot to do my eyebrows and I forgot to do my eyebrows. Right, so what we're gonna do is gonna add daddy, I've decided that while I was doing my eyebrows, where the hell? It was literally right in front of me. Where the hell is it going? There. You would know, like, the mess on my table. Like, it just takes a while for me to find things because it's so messy. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, we are going to add Daddy from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And I'm going to get my mirror out and I'm just going to add that. Do you know what I mean? Just going to add it onto my lips. Right, so that is Daddy on the lips, and I just wanna, I just wanna add a little bit of this highlighter just in the center of my lips, cause I just wanna see what it looks like. But yeah, just give that lip a little extra something, like I was trying to now. <laughs> talk today oh my god it just gives my lip a little extra something something that's what i was trying to say this is the finished look guys oh my god let's zoom you in oh right there we go that is the eyeballs i really i'm gonna talk you through the shades after and that's the lips and see how i just added that extra green it's just like a little, little shift on it it's kind of like a green lip gloss we live but yeah, let's talk about this eyeshadow palette. So like I said, I love the packaging. The packaging is sick. Um, so let's talk about the shades. 
So this peach shade is really good, um, it blends really well. This red shade is weird, it like has, it takes a while to build up and it's just like a little bit annoying. Um, then I went on with the blues. Uh, this light blue is really good, but obviously I covered it up with that purple after I decided what I wanted to do. Um, this blue is really good, it's like a, it's a literal dupe for the shade from the Kathleen Lights palette. This purple is really good, didn't have to like build it up or anything, it just went on straight away, very pigmented. Uh, this lime green is my favourite that I've used from this palette so far. I really want to use this blue and this purple and this magenta shade in the future. But yeah, this lime green really stood out to me, it looked stunning on the eyelids. And that's all the shades I used, I think. Oh yeah, and this new romantic shade, it was, I think it was the brush I was using, but it is really good as an inner corner highlight. But yeah, that is what I did today with the now, this is what we call makeup. So yeah, Makeup Revolution collaborated with the people that make now, this is what we call music. And this is one of the palettes, and it's called the 80s. I've said all this already, but I just want to say it again. I, I really like this palette. I think I will use it again. I think I'll use it more than twice. Like, it's 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 got, like, really good shades in it. Um, and it's literally better than the MAC Jeremy Scott palette. Dupe. It's like a dupe. It's, it's better. It's better. I can't believe I'm saying that it... Uh, Makeup Revolution palette is better than MAC, but it's the truth. Like, it's so much better. Like, the MAC one sucks so bad. But yeah, that is the video for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed. If you feel like recreating this look, I would literally love that. It would make my day. Just remember to tag Literally Lewis and hashtag Literally Lewis on Instagram. If you decide to recreate this, it'll make my day. I would literally love it so much. If you enjoyed this video, I would literally love if you give it a massive thumbs up down below. And I would literally love if you give me a comment down below. Tell me if you like this look. Have you got the palettes? Have you got any of the other two? Do you like them? Have you tried the Mac Jeremy Scott palette? It's very interesting, isn't it? Um, and yeah, last of all, I would literally love if you subscribe. I'm on a journey to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. Let's see if we can make it. I don't know. Let's see. I'm at 202, I think, at the moment. So, yeah, it's it's a lot to ask, but I would literally love if you would subscribe. It's coming up to Halloween, and I really do want to try crank out some cool Halloween looks. Um, most of them will be inspired, though, because, like, I'm not the best with Halloween-ish kind of makeup. But I'm going to give it my best go. I've got a few ideas in plan. I'll give you a sneak peek of what I want to do for Halloween. I really want to do a Harley Quinn boy makeup glam. Like glitter and like messy red and blue and like all of that. It'll be really cool, I think. Um, and tie it in with a whole old Harley Quinn as well. So have like the cards... Like, she has the diamonds on her cheeks and stuff, and she has the heart here. Yeah, I just want to play around with that idea and see how that goes. Um, but yeah, that is it. That is me. I'm Lily Lewis, and I would literally love if you would subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. <laughs> My hair looked like a butterfly. Like, <laughs> bye. No one knows where Adelaide is. They're international. But yeah, um, not international. If from... <laughs> Oh, I can't talk. Right. Hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs>